Welcome. This is a video using nanofloatation technology to treat a coker water from a refinery. This particular coker water had very high oil content in it as well as suspended solids. The water is taken from the direct uh, refinery itself and placed in this holding tank. And we're going to see the operator take a sample of the raw water, wastewater that's going to be treated by the nanofiltration technology. Right, there is the raw water sample. The nanoflotation technology has two components to it. One is a flotation cell, and the second is, and I should point out right now, we're just going by the tank that comes off the flotation cell, the skimmer from the flotation cell. The, fl the flotation cell is the first component, and the second component is a replaceable skin layer, membrane skin layer membrane. This is a at the front end of the plant, the flotation tank. It's covered. In this particular case, it operated with nitrogen as the gas source. Uh, and we actually use dissolved air flotation for this application. Typically, we like to use froth flotation because of the fact of the smaller footprint and lower energy requirements. This is the control panel, and you just saw actually the pre-coat tank, the powder tank, that is used to add the skin layer to the membrane bundle. Uh, this is the membrane bundle you can see coming up here. You can see the two blue valves, and just behind that is a uh, you know, housing, stainless steel housing, in which there are uh, a number of stainless steel tubes, nine millimeters in diameter, and it's those stainless steel tubes that become coated with the membrane skin layer, the, the powder skin layer, and from that uh, skin layer, we then obtain a much more efficient membrane filtration, about 10 to 15 times the flux rate, and very low operating pressure, always less than one bar. Now the operator is now going to take a sample of the water coming out of the membrane. Uh, the water going into the system, which you saw, uh, the turbidity levels were off of scale, so we were not able to get the turbidity levels. The turbidity levels of this water were always less than 0 0.5. Oil removal was in the order of 99 to 99.9% .9 removal. We have a Excel spreadsheet of the, over time, number of weeks, the results showing uh, turbidity as well as oil removal. If you request that spreadsheet, please call us at the number shown at the end of this video. So there are the samples, raw water going in, treated water after the replaceable membrane, skin layer membranes. The sludge backwash water from the membranes, once they are fouled, once the skin layer is fouled, which occurs anywhere from an hour to 12 hours, in this case it was nine hours, it, it's backwashed off, the membrane uh, skin layer is backwashed off and is disposed of into the, uh, the tank where from which it then all of the sludge is pumped back into the sludge system at the refinery plant itself. The time to backwash is about two minutes and the time to put the pre-coat membrane on is about two minutes. So thank you very much. For further information, please call 604-922-0137.